Welcome back guys, here we are. It is uh, April 16th, second day of the season, and uh, we're here at uh, the Kennebecasis River. We're gonna try to keep some trout today for a nice snack. And uh, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Let's see what we can get ourselves into. Yeah, it's definitely high. As, as I figured it was gonna be. If we're all alone here, which, which we are. All we can do is give her a dangle. You know, maybe somewhere in around them piers. Somewhere right out here. I don't know. We have to find out. Man. Should put a fresh worm on, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give her a toss first. So I just I just cast up in this like little shallow on the inside of that cat and a little bit of a current break and a trout following me right up to shore here he see me so he jet so i'm kind of hoping I might be able to get another one to follow in and take or whatever the case may be he hooked it right right on the side right in front of me little bugger nice little guy he is coming home with me what an interesting looking fish He's got some weird markings. He's like multicolored or something. Well. I'll bring him in and show him to you. It's a nice size brookie. But yeah, he's got like a weird, weird two-tone color to him. Kind of at the tail there. Not quite sure why. But a beautiful brook trout. Part of the char family, not even in the trout, but they're called brook trout. Beautiful fish. Well, I think it's time to carry on. I do say so myself. So I just plopped this in right here in front of this tree and man did I see a big trout come up. So I'm gonna do my best to get this guy hooked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully put some time in for him. I'm gonna give him as many worms as he wants and there he is, fish on. Oh, I lost him. Oh, he's a big trout. Oh, man, come on. I didn't, oh, I didn't set the hook good enough. Oh, that's such a heartbreaking feeling. It really is. Oh my gosh. Heartbreaking. See if I can get him to go again. I don't know though. So what I want to do now, I stung him with that spinner and worm. So now I want to give him like a small, small presentation of like a baby brook trout kind of type deal or a minnow of sorts. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Cause he's he's worth it. He's definitely he's definitely a fish that's worth worth the time. Come on buddy. You wanna go? Don't think he's gonna go. Oh I threw on the rainbow lure, try to get him to go again and he did. Man! He smoked that rainbow lure. <laughs> okay. Man, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, yes! Oh, no, that's a trout. That is a trout. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh. Rainbow does it again. Woo. You are gonna be good in the pan. Thank you very much. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, I'm gonna have to bonk him because he's coming with me. That's for sure. I said I was gonna, I got nothing to bonk him with. I didn't bring a bonking stick. 
Well, man, he go out, he come out and he smoked that friggin' rainbow lure. Oh, just in a deep pocket, right in like a little current break, rapids or not rapids, but in a current break anyways. Um, oh my gosh, is he ever gonna be good on the frying pan? So with that little bit of success right there, let's get back in. Let's try to get another one, you know. Whew. Today is already turning in to be a great day. Mm. That goes to show you guys, I talked to two different people on the way down here. One, one guy says, oh, there's just suckers. We caught one little trout. Another guy said, leave your worm on the bottom. The trout aren't hitting anything moving. Well, the two trout that I got both come off of moving baits. So, if that tells me that they do want something moving. So it's good to hear people's information on fishing, but also try try your own things. If you see one following you, man, they're probably going to take a moving bait. Apparently I got another little trouter. Not a bad looking fella. Whee! Oh, off he comes. He's just a little guy, so. Whew, come on, we'll just wait, just wait. I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna put you back. Come on. He's a keeper, but he's gonna go back. See ya. And he's gone. All I'm doing is just letting it drift. And he took it on the frickin' drift, and that was it. Well, I make my way back to the car so I can get home and cook up them trout for some supper. Whew. Put some miles in today, let me tell you. Wow. Little baby hippo. Hello. <laughs> there you go. You see yourself? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna do a little bit of this trout and some uh, just some butter. Want to get that to melt? Skin on, just into the pan. Also got some sweet potatoes going in the air fryer. The garlic, salt, and pepper. Mmm, that's gonna be good. Gonna be real good. Make sure these are well coated. Mmm. Look at them curling. That's what you want to see. That's how you know they're fresh fish. Pepper, what are you doing? Are you messy? Look at you got it on mom's shoulder. <laughs> Ellie's happy. These are looking real good though. Mmm. It's gonna be tasty. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I sure did. And uh, I'm gonna get this fish into me. Beautiful, beautiful, tasty brook trout. Mmm. Remember, live life cast by cast. And catch you on the next wave. Peace.